Now, we'll start by adding a new article. We'll click on the plus sign and as you can see it displays us a new window. We'll have to select the type of article and uh, we can select either a scientific article, editorial, case of study, discourse, discussion, uh, all the types of text that we'll have to upload or we can upload. Now we'll select the article's title. We already have it selected so we'll put it as it appears on the PDF or HTML file. We'll now select the section that the article corresponds to. Now we'll put it on original article and the language that the article is written in. And we can select from a different language and the pagination that it's applied on the, the journal. We only have to put it if our journal has a num uh, number of pages, but if it doesn't, we don't need to. Now we need to put the citation style. Uh, this is, uh, we have a list of citations and it's really necessary to to add it. So the Markalik system helps us to recognize author's name or the year that it's the reference. Now we'll click on the button create and as you can see now we have a number of options that we can select now we have to upload an HTML file and uh, we'll click on the on the button and there you have the specifications of set file it must be of no more than 4 megabytes with an UTF-8 encoding and it has to contain one HTML file named index.html as well as the images of the article We'll click on the choose a zip file and as you can see we already have the HTML article. We have the article in HTML and the index archives. We can send it to a zip file and once we have uploaded it the Markalik system tells us that it, the file has been accepted. Now we'll close the, the window and we can check the HTML file. Now, when you first enter to Markalik, the system will ask you if you wish to upload the original PDF file that your journal creates or if you don't. If you select the No option, then it will uh, create a PDF file with the XML file that it creates by default. So, we can also select the second or third language that our article is translated to. We need only to choose the language it's written if in and we can upload it and then view it or if it doesn't have another we don't need to to upload it. Uh, we can add additional languages and we can add a featured image. This image is used in the Markalik portal to in the Bredalik portal to uh, define or give a personalized view of your article in this card style that you can see in the Redalic uh, portal. Now, the characteristics of the featured image, it can be a JPEG, a JPG, or a PNG, and it has to be at least 382 pixels and wide and 100 pixels long, and we can also upload a GIF image that it's uh, that must be exactly of 382 pixels wide and 100 pixels long. Now it doesn't have to go f or weigh more than one megabyte so if we wish we can select the image if not the Relic portal has a database of images that can are constantly being uploaded and changed in between articles. Now we'll close the that tab and once we have uploaded everything, we need only to update this article. Now we'll close it. And as we can see, the article is now uploaded. And we can edit again the data of the article. If something's wrong, uh, the pagination or the language, sections, everything that we need. Once we have updated everything, we click on the update button it tells us that the article has been updated successfully now we can close the window and we can start with the tagging process